What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Bitcoin and El Salvador. This is a huge moment in time. It's going to be one of those uh, where were you when moments. So it's quite an exciting um, situation. I'm going to get into everything with regards to El Salvador, Bitcoin, and the current state of the affairs with the crypto market in a second. As always, I'll update my spreadsheet. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on uh, YouTube that I thought would absolutely crush it in this bull cycle. If you'd invested 100 bucks into each one when I released my videos and you were still holding those bags, you'd be in profit for $52,500. Add in your $2,600 investment, you're sitting on 55000 55100 if you want that extra 100 Um <laughs> Phantom is top of the list, is currently up 271x. Um, I did a Udemy course saying it'd be the best investment of the year. Um, I was right. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Um, and I've held absolutely all of these at one point or another. I've closed positions on damn near every single one, and I've reinvested that into new cryptos. I've built a brand new portfolio designed to make maximum gains in this bull cycle. Um, <clears throat> if you want to see the coins that I'm holding, check out Copy My Crypto. Like I said, I've built a portfolio designed for maximum gains. And the way that it's been built and designed affords me the opportunity to, um, to make investments for short and medium term, as well as obviously there's many in long term. But the gains have been staggeringly good and they continue to, to do so. If you want to be a part of that, click the link in the description and start building your wealth. Right. <clears throat> Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's had a nice sort of 24 hours, obviously broke through the 51, 50 grand mark. Um, this is actually the chart for the for the so far this year, basically, from the beginning of the year. Um, obviously, Bitcoin had that first mad run up to about April and then sort of capitulated uh, and we had a few pretty rough months right and we are now getting back to our previous situation so april around about april 14th 13th was a uh, sort of our all-time high <clears throat> if we actually look around april 13th the sort of 24-hour volume was around about 178 billion dollars for the, for the overall crypto market. Um, and currently, we're sitting on around 137 billion um, on daily volume. So we're still, still quite a way away from those sort of um, FOMO mode that, that we saw. Because there was lots of points um, earlier in the year where we were seeing 200 plus billion in a day. <clears throat> and we've not actually really come close since. We might have had one day, but I'm not even sure we did, no. Best we've sort of reached is about 140 billion. So we are actually quite a way away from that FOMO excitement stage that, that drives the market forward. Um, so there's still tons of gains out there to be had. Um, and if we actually look at the situation right now, El Salvador... <clears throat> is becoming a crypto lab. <laughs> crypto lab. Um, so El Salvador tomorrow becomes the first country in the world to make Bitcoin legal tender. This is huge. It's absolutely huge. You can't underestimate it. You've got people like the IMF very upset about it. Of course they are because they don't want anyone moving away from a stable, from a dollar, from fiat currency. IMF are very anti-crypto because... They don't, they don't want people to be free. It's that simple. Um, and it's really exciting. So the move um, was spoken about by uh, the Uphold chief executive. Um, so Uphold's like a digital platform for, for crypto, enables payments and stuff. Um, and they've said that the, uh, the El Salvador move makes a ton of sense. He said... This is because the dollarized country needs better alternatives to dodge the negative effects of the U.S.'s government's 
giant stimulus package on the currency, which we have seen multiple times throughout this uh, the, the last 18 months. And the stimulus package has, has really diluted the value of the dollar. It, it just has. You see something like a six or eight trillion dollar debasement exercise when most of the benefit is going to US citizens and you are not the beneficiary of that. So you'd logically look for something else. That's his point. <clears throat> and his point is valid. The fear the the dollar has weakened. It's unequivocal. It's true. And right now, a country of giving itself another opportunity makes total sense. Um, this move to that happens tomorrow should be a, it's going to be a sort of watershed moment, really, for for Bitcoin because. It's the moment a country is adopting it. That's quite exciting, right? Especially if you're here watching this. You were here be probably before um, El Salvador were even talking about it, right? And it didn't seem likely that this would ever happen four or five years down, you know, ago. Um, so be there's apparently a global Bitcoin price pump planned to celebrate El Salvador adopting crypto as a currency. Um, <clears throat> a massive Bitcoin price pump has been proposed by leading industry figures to celebrate El Salvador officially adopting the crypto. Um, and, you know, apparently Reddit forums and Twitter accounts are all going, buy $30 worth of Bitcoin, buy $30 worth of Bitcoin, whatever it is, to try and encourage people um, to, to get Bitcoin because the law comes into effect, you know, tomorrow. Um, so every citizen in El Salvador can effectively grow their wealth. Um, and it's, like I say, it's a watershed moment. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I, 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 to be honest, I'm fairly confident that we'll see Bitcoin pass a trillion dollars again overnight. Um I sort of expect that, to be honest, because a country is adopting Bitcoin. Um, and if Bitcoin pumps overnight <clears throat> and tomorrow, none of that would be a shock. Um, I do sort of think it will break a trillion dollars today or tomorrow. Um, but what it means for the whole market is that we should see the market caps really start to rise. Um Total crypto market cap is actually close to the highest point it's ever been. It's about $50 billion away, which is sounds a lot, but it really isn't when you factor in the fact that there's 11 plus thousand cryptos. Um, and we know Bitcoin's a driving force for this market. It's unequivocal. Again, we know that. Um, so Bitcoin having a run, it might have a small retracement on some altcoins if Bitcoin runs really strongly. But I don't expect that necessarily. I don't think we could see like a 20% rise in Bitcoin or anything. But um, a couple of percent gains in Bitcoin and a lot of the alts will probably uh, ride a 6, 8, 10, 20% bump over the, overnight. But make no mistake about it. <clears throat> Anyone that's playing this down is an idiot. This is a very big moment. And it, not even necessarily financially. I mean, obviously, if you're investing in the market, it is financially for you. But um, this is a moment to be excited about because it's one of the biggest sort of adoption stories uh, in crypto, probably the biggest. Um, so the government's going to and the government's going to roll out a digital Bitcoin wallet called Chiva, slang for cool, in the coming days with thirty dollars. <clears throat> in Bitcoin free for every user. So across, across the country, Chivo ATMs will allow consumers to buy Bitcoin and convert it into cash with the government absorbing commission costs, which is really good as well. Except the fact that the government are absorbing the, the costs, um, but it gives everyone an opportunity, it gives everyone the opportunity to see what it's like. Now, it will be very interesting to see if there's how the network uh, copes under the strain, because potentially you've got an entire country all of a sudden trying to do transactions. And that could be a very interesting day. 
for Bitcoin tomorrow. Um, and it will be if the network is struggling under the weight of transactions, then what we could see is those coins like Dash, Nano, um, XRP, like coins that are really cheap to to move around, gaining in value because um, people will convert the Bitcoin into something else to move it. Um, so that the, this will be a legitimately very interesting week. I'm actually really excited about it. I've uh, been sitting watching my charts for like um, a couple, pretty much all day. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, big, big, big moment. So I'll ask you a question. Do you believe Bitcoin um, will tackle the $60,000 mark? This week, I'm at a legitimately. Do you think it can gain twenty percent this week? Because there's a shot. There's a shot. It depends on if people sell the news. Because there's that rumor. There's the buy the rumor, sell the news. But in a bull cycle, sometimes you just want to hold on to the news. <laughs> so it'll be really interesting to see how it plays out. Uh, let me guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're new to crypto, check out Copy My Crypto. Gains have been staggering. Opportunities afforded to the um, to the members in Copy My Crypto are enormous because of the portfolio held. We've got brilliant coins that are growing and growing and growing and gaining and gaining and gaining. Profit is just um, really tidy at the moment. It's very, very nice. And if you want to be a part of it, click the link in the description. Anyway, take care, guys. And uh, go on El Salvador.